Hey everybody, welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we got some stuff to talk about. So, uh, if you didn't know, the data mining happened last night, or like really early this morning for me. And uh, that's, that's primarily what we're talking about today. So, as you can see on the screen, spoilers are incoming. If you don't want spoilers, this is not the video for you. <laughs> this is not the video for you. Uh, I have the stats preload and everything, so we're, we're ready to roll. Um, but it, yeah, while, while I give you some time to contemplate whether or not you want spoilers, uh, we're going to be going over female Kana, Shigure, then Hinoka, and then finally the other two who haven't really been like announced yet, but they've been seen in-game. Uh, we have male Kana, and then we're going to talk about Kaze. And then potentially we're also going to talk about uh, something that might happen with Kaze or Kana and how we might get them in a future event type of deal uh, by looking back at like some past stuff uh, that I, I kind of touched on in yesterday's video regarding what's going on with Kana and Kaze. So uh, we'll talk about that at the very, very end. But right now, uh, I want to thank the data miners over at Game Press. You're all doing God's work. Thank you for that. Uh, that would be... Kaz, Kirigiri, uh, we got Asian Crank, and of course, Zanuck. Uh, so here we go. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Prepared. Be prepared because spoilers are coming in three, two, one. Spoiler City. All right. There we go. So we got Kana. We have Kana. There is Kana. Um, not, I, it's pretty much what I was expecting, honestly. It's, it's, I'm not surprised by this at all. Uh, we're looking at, what, 40, what we got? 40 HP, 30 attack, speed of 34, defense of 33, and res of 26. So, uh, in the, in the reveal trailer, uh, I kind of predicted she'd be a little bit tanky, and that's more or less what she is. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with, uh, people who have Fae, um, who is the other infantry green dragon unit. <laughs> Um, I know, like, Faye, Faye, you can relatively get to plus 10, uh, and I've seen a lot of plus 10s, like, in the upper ladder of the arenas, uh, especially on, like, Dragon Emblem teams, so, uh, maybe, maybe not losing her place in the overall meta spot, um, but, uh, Kana is going to be a pretty popular unit, I think, pretty, pretty popular, pretty popular, uh, I, I would not be surprised if, you know, if you don't have, like, a plus 10 Fey, for example, uh, this kind of might be a slightly more popular option for most people. The only downside is, uh, again, that, you know, right now it is just a focus unit. We don't know who is getting dropped to 4 once the banner clears and all that. Um, but kind of looks really good. Kind of looks really good. And if you know this, she's pretty darn fast. 34 is nothing to sneeze at, man. Uh, and that's actually an overlapping trend that you're going to see on this entire banner. Like, this is a pretty speedy banner uh, for for the most part. So, there's Kana. Let's take a look at Shigure, who I was I was thinking looked pretty fly. And uh, Shigure does. He's an uplifting artist, after all. Uh, so, Shigure, again, we got 40 in HP, which isn't bad. Uh, attack in 33. Speed of 37. Are you freaking kidding me? That's neutral? Yo, if you get a boon in that, you are over 40, or at least hitting 40. I don't know if you get a 4 or, or a 3 for that. I'm assuming probably a, at least, probably, no, I don't know. At least a 3, in which case you're going to hit 40 regardless. Uh, defense of 27 and res of 25, which, I mean, is not terrible. It's not bad. Uh, he's pretty solid. He's pretty, I can't complain. He's pretty solid. Um... I, the more I look at these stats now, the more I'm like, I kind of want to pull for all three. I don't really have the big connection to the Fates game, but, well, games, I guess, technically. There's like three of them, but they're all kind of similar. Either way, the Fates games, I don't really have that much of a connection to the Fates characters, we'll say. Um, but, oh man, these units look so good, dude. These look so good. Um, so Shigure, like, his, the stats, the stats are definitely there. The stats are definitely there. Uh, and I am impressed. And he's a flyer. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, he, he kind of, it's not the exact spread, but he kind of has a stat curve similar to Tana. 
And uh, those of you who know, I have a Tana who's like a really good IV spread. And she does really, really well. Um, obviously, the weapons and everything are different. But uh, the, the stat curve, more or less, of, you know, all that. It, 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 looks, it looks somewhat similar, I think. Um, but yeah, could be a really good potential unit. Really good potential unit. Um, let's move on to Shigure. Yep, we got Shigure. Hinoka! Sorry, we're already looking at Shigure. It's been a long day already. It's 10 a.m. and it's already been a long day. Uh, Hinoka. So, Hinoka, as I, as I assumed, <laughs> is an absolute baller. Uh, HP of 37, attack in 32, speed of 35. And that's without the, the weapon boost, because I think she gets plus 3 speed with the weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, defense of 17 and res of, nine, of uh, 29. So, Hino like, on this banner, <laughs> on this banner, uh, I view the first two units, female Kana and Shigure, as pretty well rounded. Um, not necessarily, like, meta breaking, like I said, but relatively pretty well rounded, solid units. Um, Hinoka is gonna, is gonna shake some stuff up a little bit, I think. Basically, because of the uh, the armor effectiveness that, she, that she's got, uh, which is like they, they've really they've really switched stuff up for uh, for flyers lately. Uh, I know we had uh, Spring uh, Kagero, which was our first ever flying um, colorless, you know, uh, shuriken. What do they actually call them? I don't know. I'm gonna call them shuriken users. Um, but, and now, now we have a flying archer, which is amazing. Um, and again, we, we do know that colored bows are coming at some point, but I just don't know when. Hinoka is not that, uh, but the stats are definitely, definitely, definitely really, really solid. Uh, and even the res is, is great, man. Um, 29 in res, that's awesome. So obviously, you know, if you can get a, a Bane in defense, you're looking great. So far, the last three that we've had, be it Hinoka, Shigure, or Kana, um, if you get a speed boon, like, you're solid, man. Um, and he, honestly, even neutral Kana is, is pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, obviously, you'd want, like, I don't know, probably, like, a, a, an HP Bane or a Res Bane for Kana. Um, attack or speed boon naturally shigure uh you you definitely want the speed boon there's no getting past that um res res bane i guess or hp bane one of those two attack isn't bad either but speed like speed you would have to do like, literally nothing to him uh and then hinoka obviously like you can get an attack speed boon you're good uh defense bane is really what you want for sure um so there's that all right, so now if you didn't want to be spoiled on the stuff that's coming, here's my here's my warning again. <laughs> here's my warning one more time. We're gonna start talking about the units who haven't really been identified yet, uh, the ones that are not in the banner, that being Male Kana and Kaze. So get ready for that in three, two, one. Okay, Male Kana. Here we go. Uh, Male Kana. Let me bring him up over here so it looks like I'm not looking off in the distance. Um, so we got Male Kana at 40 HP, 31 attack, 33 speed, 31 defense, and 29 res. So, kind of similar. Kind of similar to Female Kana. There's there's a couple different stat differences, you know. Uh, his res is a little bit higher. His defense is a little bit lower. Her speed is just one point faster. His attack is one point higher. You know, they both have the same HP. So, again, relatively well-rounded unit, uh, just a slightly different flip in the defenses, um, and then, uh, like, one one point difference between attack and speed between the two of them, I don't think that's a big deal, honestly. Um, so, for, for what that's worth, he's pretty similar. He's pretty similar. Uh, he is a blue dragon infantry unit, uh, so rivaling, who would that be, Naui, I guess? That's the only one we have for, for blue infantry dragon i think yeah so i mean overall not not bad either like still 33 speed that's not bad it's it this whole this whole group is relatively pretty fast uh for the most part 
which is kind of cool. Um, again, relatively tanky, relatively well-rounded, nothing too surprising. Very, very similar to female Kana. Uh, and then, of course, the one we're probably all wondering about. What about Kaze? <laughs> Let's look at Kaze. Uh, he is uh, raking in 34 HP, 30 attack, 36 speed, 17 defense, and 34 res. Oh my lord. Uh, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, um, he, it's, I have, I have, uh, May on the brain because I finally got her up to plus nine, and so, like, the stat curve for him looks kind of similar to her, like, she doesn't really have a whole lot of defense, but her res isn't bad, uh, her speed's pretty decent, and her attack is pretty okay, too. Um, but that's, that's Kaze in a nutshell, and, uh, I... Pretty, pretty, pretty solid, pretty solid tone, tone killer, uh, honestly. Um, I think his attack is, or his uh, weapon skill is Bard Shuriken, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it inflicts like res minus seven, so it almost has like a res smoke kind of effect uh, after attacking. So nothing, nothing really like crazy for um, the the Shuriken or whatever you want to call them, the dagger units. Uh, not, nothing really too crazy about that. Um, but he should be a really well-rounded unit too. And uh, if it comes to that, I would be totally fine if we got him as a free unit. Because I think that's probably where we're headed. Um, and let me let me talk a little bit about that uh, as, as we wrap up here in, in the final uh, couple minutes of, of this video. So I know that we were talking about it. And I made mention yesterday about an incident, well, not an incident, a, an occurrence, if you will, that was kind of an, an abnormality at the time, where um, the the Winter Banner happened, uh, and that had Winter Tharja, uh, Robin, Crom, and Lissa, right? And then that started early December. Um, and what, what I made comment was we had a voting gauntlet between them and the New Year's units, which came out relatively soon in the new year, like maybe the very last little bit of December. I don't remember the exact time, but... Um, and that had... Uh, the trailer had... Uh, who was it? Uh, Takumi, Camilla, and Azura uh, in their New Year's forms. And then on the map, in the trailer, we saw New Year's Corrin. But we didn't know where Corrin was. <laughs> because he wasn't in the banner. And uh, for for quite quite some time, uh, we didn't know actually where he was going to show up. But we had a voting gauntlet between those two banners. And so naturally, <laughs> you can't have a three-sided a three voting gauntlet uh, against a four-sided voting gauntlet. So what we, eventually, what we essentially had was this. This is from the past voting gauntlets website, uh, or the the page on the the official Fire Emblem website. What we ended up having was <laughs> we had Corin, Lissa, Krom, and uh, Tharja up against Azura, Camilla, Takumi, and regular Ryoma. Yeah, <laughs> that happened. Uh, we just had. Lobster Man thrown in there for really no reason. Um, so I mean, for what that's worth, uh, this the final rounds ended on like the sixth of the first uh, first of the year, and so we eventually didn't get uh, the New Year corn, which should have been here, obviously, uh, until like almost towards the end of the year when we finally had a Tempest Trials based around uh, the New Year's units. And so I think what might be happening is uh, a similar situation to that, maybe. Um, but for those of you who saw yesterday's video and were, like, uh, potentially new to the game, like maybe you just started playing around the, the year anniversary, you probably wouldn't have known that this happened. And it was a weird little occurrence that we've had uh, in, re in regards to, like, uh, following up with units that we knew about, like, a good 30 days in advance. 
uh, and then eventually we get it. So I mean, they they even they even subbed out New Year Corin for a regular Ryoma. They just threw a Fates character into the Holy Gauntlet for the Winter and New Year's units. So I mean, it, it it's it's probably it's probably going to be a situation like that. It might be weird, um, but you know, like I said. We're probably due for another voting gauntlet pretty soon. Um, I again, it, we could just have a really fast Tempest Trials coming up. I don't know. Uh, now that they're all shorter and we don't have any more minis, they might, you know, pop every three to four weeks. I don't know. It could happen. But that is definitely something that happened. And I, you know, Kaze, poor Kaze. We might, <laughs> we might get him at some point. I don't know what's going to happen with Nailcon either. Um, but if you if you played through the story mode this morning, you definitely you know that we definitely see those guys and that they are a thing. So uh, it, it could be a situation like that. We might have that going on. But um, that's all I got for right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments uh, who you're going to try and pull for. Are you excited about it? Uh, I'm actually thinking about pulling for some units right now once I get this video up. Uh, that might be tomorrow or, or uh, Thursday when that gets posted, but let me know uh, Let me know who you're excited about the most. I th I'm still excited about Hinoka to be honest like that's The uniqueness of Hinoka is just too good to pass up, man. It's too good to pass up. But again, we have two more banners coming in the next two weeks so. Life life is life is tough life is hard uh, thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't because we're super duper close to be YouTube partnership And that would be really really cool if we could get that um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I am Blue, and I will catch you next time.